Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 44. So envy was somewhat dealt with last episode. Emphasis on the somewhat. Yeah, it's funny because he was calling people worms, but he turned out to be like some sort of parasite worm thing. Yeah. Uh, yep. Now he's held hostage in a little container. Just like his father was back in the day. Yeah, that's right. Um, Dr. Marco went massive. Dr. Marco went so massive, I loved every second of it. Yeah, probably the MVP of last episode, I would say. I think so. Um, but I'm very excited to watch this episode because a few things were set up at the end of last episode. So we had... The post-credits, right? Oh, yeah. We had Al and Hohenheim finally unite, and that's going to be an interesting uh, reunion, to say the least. Yeah, 100%. This is sort of something I've been waiting for for ages. I love me a good reunion. So yeah. I'm hoping it'll be that mm -hmm. good, at mm -hmm. least. Yep. And then we just need Ed. That's right. We haven't touched base with our main character for a few episodes. But um, also, Olivier, she's been taken down into the dungeons and she's seen a whole heap of dead corpses like it's, hanging upside down there. It's like the depths of hell down there. Oh, yeah. Some messed up shit. So um, there's a bit to look forward to this episode. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Okay, he does know who he is. So, uh, I saw Panaco recently. She told me about your body. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because how else would he have known? Mr. Ho, you think you could give us a hand for a bit? I yeah, thought only so I called him Ho. Let's catch up later. Oh, okay. Let's catch up later. Ho, come back. I can start fresh. Yeah. Sounds good. Huh? I'm gonna help build. Rose, can Aww. you take care of Winry? Al, he you're just, an absolute <laughs> cutie pie. You heard him, Yoki. Aww. I can't doubt that he thinks of me as his father or trusts me. I'm not even sure what to say to him. He can't face him. Dad. <sighs> Calls him dad, unlike Ed. Wow. Maybe if they have something like distracting them, the conversation will just happen naturally. Here you go. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, a little bit. A little he's bit. like, my son's a nice kid. <sighs> oh, this like fan service episode. I didn't really need to see Wynn really like this. Thank you so much, Rose. <laughs> mm, she's so nice to do all this for me. What's the catch? She your competition, no? <laughs> I, I, maybe I was looking at that wrong. You're the one who literally helped Ed get back on his feet again. So you indirectly helped me get back on my feet too. Oh yeah, because Ed did that for her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They had that nice pep talk. But then Ed got furious with me. He told me to stand on my own two feet. He said that. Jerk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he means well though. He just, was a bit of a jerk back then. He's always been aggressive with, with his um niceness. <laughs> yeah. With his honesty. Uh <laughs> Is it weird that I find it kinda cute that he calls him Mr. Green? So do I, I was gonna say that. Like Careful, a, friend. Like a lawyer servant. Oh, out of all the bloody places he could have stumbled across. They've all got markings on them. Yes. Powerful dummies that we can bond souls to. Not what the heck? They're mindlessly obedient. 
They're the world's most perfect soldier. Interesting. Okay. What did I wrong? This place is evil. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Grade. <laughs> oh well. It's a different grade. Yeah. I suppose I owe my sons the same trust they've given me. Yes. There you go. This won't be easy to explain. It would be for the best for Edward to hear it as well. Yeah, he can explain it at the same time to them both. I'd like to make a withdrawal from the account of State Alchemist Edward Jarek, his research account. Are you the account holder? I'm his representative, but I brought a letter of attorney. This is the Bank of Amestris, Northern Branch. We just had a very large withdrawal taken from State Alchemist Edward Elric's personal research. Straight onto it. Wow. It's their job. They're good workers. <laughs> Are you the only patient back here? Yeah. Why are you asking? What's wrong? Tell me. Where's Ed? There he is. <gasps> yes. Do you work at this doctor's office? Slowly raise your hands above your head. He's gonna bend the gun. Red coat, blonde hair worn in a braid, and short. <gasps> oh no, he didn't. Harris, Harris, what happened to you? Come on. Snap. <laughs> Harris was dealt with. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, answer me. He's distracted. Oh my gosh, through the wall. Don't treat me like I'm an invalid. My injuries are completely healed. And I'm revving at full Okay. Full metal alchemist. Nice. Yes. Okay, lads, let's go. I'm loving the chimeras working together. Yeah. Same. Oh, okay, they're gonna put a wall up. I'm gonna drive right into it, yeah. right? Yeah. That's suspicious. That's a suspicious thing there. That's very suspicious. He gave the car a makeover. Are you not gonna look? Are you not gonna find that suspicious? You dummy. IQ 10. <laughs> I wonder if a car like that was like one of his toys in like the first few episodes. Oh, maybe. I don't know. That'd be cool. So yeah, that'd be a cool fallback. So what's the next plan of action? Well, let's see. The first thing I need to do is meet up with Al. And shoot yes. Dr. Marco. He's going to be fuming well, though. And says Hohenheim. You do know how to fight, yeah. Right? You were a slave and now you're a philosopher's stone? Yeah, right. And sadly. Told him everything, pretty much. Yeah. Wait. If you're a philosopher's stone, you don't have a normal human body, right? So does that mean Ed and I aren't exactly normal humans either? Interesting. Oh. But not even that can change the fact that I am a human being. Yeah, right. Although I look alike and he's central. His body yeah, he is not the same. Leather bag, dang. And if we can destroy that leather bag, then we can defeat what's inside. That's such a bird. That makes sense. Calling him a leather bag. I almost they're gonna do the same thing to a mistress that they did to Xerxes, aren't they? We've gotta hurry and stop them. It's almost complete. Oh and I'm just gonna plan, Mr. Ho. Yep. Destroying the tunnel seems like the best way to thwart them. And since it runs under Leor That's not a good idea. Oh. They've got an immensely powerful homunculus. Yeah, oh, pride's yes, in there. Yes, of you know course. But still, we've got to try before it's too late. For all we know, they might have already. Oh, they've got to. The they've got to destroy the limb. So Up, the sky. You mean the sun god Uta? Oh shit! The man in central is waiting for the day of reckoning. 
A day of reckoning. So Hohenheim knows that he's going to know the sign. Yes. When father's ready. Okay. And that's when they have to attack. Oh. This is sad. Yeah, this is sad. Just remind him. Well, this is fun. He's used to a different grade. He's remembering. You are Mr. Green. Interesting. Oh, you're from Dublin. Oh, now it makes sense. You remember me? <gasps> Afraid not. You must have been buddies with the previous group. Oh, but little Fado. So, never even met. But Mr. Green. No, I'm sad, no. man. Mr. Green. He's fighting in there. Yeah. What was that? Can I take it back? Yeah, try to pause it. Greed. Is it? The father? I don't know. Any ideas? Who's that on the left? The blondie. Are you determined to prove you're a monster? What kind of sick creature would kill his own friend? Yeah! Pull yourself together, Grid. I'm warning you. I'll take my body back if you drop your guard. Oh, shit. You aren't mine. Father purified me and purged the old Grid's memories. Those memories aren't a part of me anymore. Dang, look at this internal on, struggle. Grid. Ling is the alpha here. Yeah, go I'm Ling. Oh, all his friends. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's go, Ling. Oh, like in the base. Oh, this is such. Dude, that was so sad. That was awesome, there. That was a great speech. You don't need to protect that little prick. <laughs> Burn the whole house down, woman. <laughs> Who's that? It's greed. With someone. Oh. No, it's not greed. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, dear. Is this next episode? I think so. Oh, shit. Let's go, man. So it's going to be Greed versus the Fuhrer. That's interesting. I I've always kind of liked how Greed is like a, a lone wolf. Yeah. Different to the other homunculi. And this is almost going to be like a rematch because Ling fought Bradley. That's right. To try and like save his friends and stuff too. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. Um, mm, I think Ling is a, uh, a good influence on Greed. Greed Ling. Yeah, but... Salim's there, Pride's there as well. I I yeah. don't like Greed's chances whatsoever no. here. I think this was a really, really bad mistake. But mm. Ling is a very good fighter and was, hold on, okay. he was distracted and had to deal with Lanfan at the time when he was facing off against the Fuhrer. Yes. Okay, so he couldn't fight properly because he had to, like, get Lanfan, make a diversion and escape because she was... Yep. Like, dying, pretty much, right? Now he can properly fight the Fuhrer. Interesting. But Ling has to be in control, not greed, I think. If they work together, right, if they use Ling's uh, fighting ability and they use greed's, like, armor, shield ability, whatever that was Drive called. Drive in the history. Well, not even that, just, like, his ability. Like, yeah. he's got an ability. Oh, We've right, seen, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. greed's got an actual, like... Mm. Um, sort of like armor thing that he can put on. I forgot what the actual thing was called. I'm sure someone will clarify in the comments, but if they work together, they could probably whoop Wrath's ass, I reckon. In front of his wife and his... Embarrass him! In front of Salim! Make Salim cry! No, look, I like kids. I just want to point <laughs> that out. I actually do. I really do like kids, right? I get along oh with them quite well. Oh gosh. Salim is no kid, though. He's a prick. He's yeah. a 500-year-old prick. Yes. Okay, that's it. Yeah, no, actually, I'm going to back Greed in this one. I want to say the same, I just have no idea. 
that was really sad with Beedo there. What the heck was no. that? I really liked him. It reminded me of like Dobby. Yeah. Dobby. Yeah, you know, like loyal to his master sort of thing and Yeah. Had when, full like, trust and greed. Harry was holding him at the end. Terrible. Spoiler alert. I already said the spoiler. It's too late now, but anyway. <laughs> Carly, that's wrong, man. <laughs> I mean, if they haven't seen Harry Potter at this point, they're never gonna. Yeah, that was tremendously sad. But on another note, we had some Alan Ho bonding. Oh yeah, we'll go in chronological order of the episode, right. I guess. Um Yeah, your prediction was correct. So Al is more forgiving than Ed and um Well, yeah, we kind of saw it like through conversation and stuff anyway. Yeah, like he called him dad and all of that, whereas Ed calls him Hohenheim and he's that protective older brother sort of thing. So I think their interaction is going to be coming up and it's not going to be a smooth sailing. Nah, but at least Al will be like the mediator. Is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah, he'll yeah, he'll yeah. be able to like kind yeah. of be there. Uh, Hohenheim filled him in on, on everything. He told Al to look up instead of look down. So rather than look at the tunnels and all that sort of shit, looking at the ground and whatever else he's referring to, he's saying, look up. And I then, think it's got something to do with the sun. Well, yeah, that's literally what Hohenheim said. So okay, you can't claim like, like you're <laughs> some genius when he literally said it. It had to do with the sun god Leto. Yeah. Okay. Good job for reading the subtitle. <laughs> um, okay. What do you think hmm. it means specifically though? When the sun aligns with planet... I don't know. Has it got something to do with an alignment of the sun? So is the sun god Leto. What was the other one? Was there another one? I think he only mentioned the sun god this, this got episode. To do with, this has got to do with the murals, I'm saying. Yeah. There was the sun and what else? Wasn't there like a lion or something? Do you remember a mention of a lion? We'll have to go back yeah. to that episode yeah. and have a look. Okay, so we've got to look up and that will be the sign. That will be when father's about to do his shit. His big shit. His massive shit. His massive turd on the earth. You know you know <laughs> what this could have to do with? Episode 40, when we saw um, Father Created for the first time. Mm. Maybe there are signs there with exactly what happened. Um, okay. That will be when they know that shit's about to go down. Right. Maybe the sky just turns a different color or some shit. I don't know. It like goes black. Interesting. It was like an eclipse or something. Yeah, I don't know exactly oh, yeah, an what eclipse. Happened. Then what else happened? Yeah, Ed kind of like escaped. He seems to be doing well. Yeah, he is. He's he's healing. I was a bit confused at the start of that scene. I didn't recognize the, dude. Um, the chimeras. Yeah. So I thought like he was doing something dodgy, stealing Ed's money. I forgot that that was the chimera. So that's my bad. I'm really liking their involvement, like the four chimeras that have kind of like changed sides. I yes. really liked that about this little... um this segment of the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've quite liked it. Uh, I think I mentioned this in a previous discussion, how the reason why they've changed sides is because they've been shown true kindness and they've actually been respected. They're not so much getting used. Uh, they're being treated properly. So yes, uh, exactly. it, it was easy for them to change sides. So I like that. Back to the humans that they had created, or not even the humans, the, um... Oh, yeah, true. The, whatever they created. The humanoids, that was saying. Humanoids, yes, that's the word. They said that they wanted to bind souls to those bodies. Yeah. But I feel like this whole storyline with Al sort of foreshadows what might happen there. Because we see that Al's soul or his body is, like, aching for that reunion. Mm Mm-hmm. The soul is not suited to the armor, like a body that's not its own. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like this is really going to just, like, backfire big time here. Yeah, that was interesting. It, it, that was freaky shit down there. Um, seems as though Olivia has composed herself, though, and trying to figure out the best course of action. Mm-hmm. Uh, she needs to know all the details. She needs to know what she's in for so that she can fully create, like, some sort of Hopefully ingenious plan that we get to see play out. Yeah. That was a similar sort of thing, like you said, with Sloth's, um, yeah. uh, on Sloth's face. Uh, maybe it's just an artistic thing, but something to keep in mind. Because, like, that's the father's thing, right? He basically just, or he doesn't even think twice. He doesn't hate the humans. He just doesn't even consider them worthy at all. Yeah. Yeah, so they basically want to take the souls from the humans and chuck them in these, like, overpowered humanoids and create their new world order 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, gross. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty messed up. But you were saying like those bodies were fueling the father through the pipes? Oh, uh, yeah, but I didn't know they were humanoids. I just kind of saw like lifeless beings down there. So Yeah, I think that's all they are right now. I don't know if they're fueling him at all. No, I think it's, um, no, no. Yeah, other souls and stuff that they've collected. Yeah. I just think it's like whoever's like dying in a mistress, their souls are getting used for the pipes to fuel father. That's that's mm. what I think is going on there. Yeah, right. Um Hope Hope tears up all his bloody pipes. Yeah. And then what else? Rose and Winry have created like a cute friendship. I didn't see that happening considering like I don't know, like Winry's a good girl, so she's obviously not seen Rose's Competition. Competition. It's like a fellow woman. <laughs> yeah, well, if anything, it's like strengthened her uh, bond with Ed because uh, seeing how Ed has helped her and her people, uh, Rose's people, makes Winry quite happy. A bit of Win Winry fan service there, that episode too, I believe. You Unnecessary. I'm sorry if no, no, no. enjoyed it. Unnecessary. No, I didn't like it. <laughs> Carly's all high and mighty. <laughs> I know. You got to understand, like, a lot of the people that watch this are probably like Winry's age or that were watching it. They probably had a massive crush on Winry as well. Yeah, they would have uh, loved this episode. I am sure. Yeah, Greed. I'm happy to see a return of Greed. I liked how Greed was so much different to the others. Yeah, Greed is a good character. Yeah. I feel so sad about Beedo. I didn't think I could feel that sad about yeah. Beedo. Yeah. The poor little thing. Yeah. But that was one of my favorite scenes, I'm going to say. Uh, Ling's speech kind of gave me goosebumps a little bit. Yeah, it kind of made me, like, feel something. Yeah, I've, I've, um, said that with Full Metal, even though I, like, I really enjoy it, um, I think the story is, like, one of the best mm. that I've seen, but I don't get chills a lot in the series, but I did there yep. with Ling. That was epic. That was really cool. I really liked some of that dialogue that he was saying. He's just absolutely whooping on Greed's ass. Yeah. Saying, I'm the king here. <laughs> I'm the king. Yeah, Ling was the real alpha there, wasn't he? Yeah, that was awesome. And now we're going to see him fight in the next episode. Crazy. Um, against Wrath. And I hope Salim gets caught in the crossfire. Yeah. Honestly, I'm sick of that dickhead. I'm sick of him too. <laughs> and let the wife go. <laughs> if she's innocent, who knows, Angelo? She's got to be the dumbest woman to, like, not realize what's happening around she's her. She's about to realize that her pride and joy, Salim, the prick shadow monster, right? Is about to like transform into some shit. Yeah. Well, not transform, but she's gonna put him up for adoption again or something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah Salim's the one who does the adopting. Salim. Sorry, what not do Salim. You mean? Oh, he, just he doesn't shoot himself. Correct. He wants. Correct. Piece of crap. Yeah. I want to see him being turned into a bloody parasite. Like he's made envy. Yeah, that was interesting actually that like. Pride was the first homunculus created by the father, and the father made him in, like, his image. Mm. Yeah. That's also quite biblical, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also kind of messed up. Yep. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And, yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.